a fun question. Why do we still use standing tree? <laughs> because it's easy. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's I, to me the fact that Spanning Tree still is around in uh, in 2019 is a is a bummer, in the sense that we had trail, we had shortest path bridging, neither of those took off uh, all that well. You've got a bunch of M lag and clustering technologies that are t tend to be proprietary by vendor, and so you've got some implementations that kind of using those technologies engineer out Spanning Tree. But at the end of the day, the only a protocol you can count on that's still there to keep loops out of your network is spanning tree. That's the one, and the rest of the market fractured dramatically or is complicated to, uh, to implement. It's not like tr Trill got baked into all our switches and we know it's there and we can count on it, and so we light it up. Uh, that that never happened. Same thing with short of path, shortest uh, path bridging. And so it's just the thing we know, and as long as it's been there, it's still there, even though it's got all the shortcomings that it has it's the one thing we've got yeah i don't see many data centers today being built using spanning tree it's it's mostly vxlan now i think the campus will eventually converge at, on that as well but we still need spanning tree at the edge to to protect from from those users you know connecting their conference switches to <laughs> to two ports in your distribution switch and so on so yeah, I mean, that that's a good point that even in the campus now, most of the designs have migrated to layer three where spanning tree is sitting way out at the edge as a as a protection against someone doing something silly, you know, plugging in their desktop eight port switch that they're not supposed to have into two ports at their desk. And all of a sudden they just created themselves a loop and you know all those kind of funky things that many of us have run into. Yeah, there's basically spanning tree out at the wiring closet. So anyway, that's why it's still there, and uh, and I don't see a path for it to really go away ever. It's always going to be something we need to understand, but what we don't see and what I don't think we're ever going to see again are very large, complex spanning trees with uh, lots of layer, redundant layer two links baked in that we're accounting on spanning tree to deal with failing over for us and so on. That's all layer three stuff at this point.